everybody, I'm back doing another review. And today I'm going to be reviewing um, some Cyberverse Transformers that I got. Um, I, they all came in one case, they, they all came as one, they all came together. However, I would have rather gotten one deluxe size figure, one larger figure, than three Cyberverse figures. So yeah, now the figures you get, you get Optimus Prime, you get Ratchet, and you get Crank Case. Optimus and Ratchet are Optimus and Ratchet are Autobots, Crankcase is a Decepticon. Here's the instructions to transform all of them. Obviously I probably could have done this without the instructions because these are Cyberverse figures which pretty much anyone can transform without the use of instructions. So yeah. Uh, so yeah, the, these are Cyberverse figures. Uh, and the instructions are all right here. Let's begin with Optimus Prime. First thing I want to note is that when these came, they're all displayed in the robot mode. What? They're, they're, they're all displayed in the robot mode when they came in package. However, I typically, I start them out when, typically what me and most Transformers reviewers do, is they review them, start out in their vehicle mode, start reviewing them in their vehicle mode, then robot mode second. Alright, yeah, there's Optimus' trailer, and here's just Optimus. Now, here he is in his vehicle mode. You have his robot mode hidden there, like all Transformers do. And, he rolls, well, it's not that easy to roll him, because the robot mode is kind of ruining his roll. And, you have the flames painted on him, you have silver here, red here, just like the traditional Optimus Prime. These are all Dark of the Moon figures, by the way, if you haven't noticed that already. Uh, wheels roll, stuff like that. So, yeah, the, yeah, pretty cool. Not much to say about it. Yep. So, yeah, to transform him, what you want to do is, first what you want to do is, um, take the whole front part and angle it down like so. And, yes, sometimes it does come loose if you bend it too much, but it's an easy fix. You just want to angle it down like that. And then you want to kind of like turn it, kind of like turn it over. Well, to just leave it down for now. Just leave it down for now. Now what you want to do is separate the back wheels and flip them up. They don't tab into anything and they don't tab together again. So yeah, just let you know. Now what you want to do is, is flip the arms out like so and flip the them in like 180 degrees and flip the arms down and now now you rotate the the waist the midsection now it should look like that then you then you push this whole front part back like so it's it, yeah sometimes it's a little bit tough especially if I have to do it in front of a camera so yeah now you want to do is this part it flips down and it flips the head up and now, the, now you want to do is you want to pull these parts down so you have longer legs and you separate them. And here you have Optimus in his robot mode. It's pretty cool. One problem that a lot of Transformers have is in their robot mode they have this p part behind their head just because it's, I don't know why, just for whatever reason just to help with the transformation. So yeah, the arms posability you have, they bend here. They've been here. Yeah, obviously, again, this is a cyber. These are all cyberverse figures, so they don't. So they don't have that much posability. So yeah, again, you, again, they bend at the knee, rotate at the hip. So yeah, head has no no posability. The only posability the head has is when you flip it up and down to transform him. So yeah, when he stands up, it's not that easy to stand up because it's on a white background. All right, yeah, not yeah. He doesn't. He won't stand up that easily, but he, he will stand up on a solid ground. But on this white blanket, no, not really. He won't. So yeah, and yeah, you. He doesn't come with any weapons. Just to let you know, he doesn't. So. And, but you do have hands which you can pl plug stuff into. So, yeah. Yeah, this is him in his 
robot mode. To transform him back, what you want to do is do everything in reverse. You plug the the feet together like so, then they you push them up. Now what you want to do is move these two parts down like so, and they peg together. And now you move the whole front section forward. Yep, yeah, but now it's all forward. Now you flip the the forearms up like so, and they rotate 180 degrees to the back. So yeah. All right. So yeah, that's. Alright, yeah, I'm having a little bit of trouble. Oh, yeah, um, you also remember you have to flip the head up, for, you have to flip the head down first, then you do it. So, yeah, flip the head down first, then you do it, alright? Alright, so, yeah, sometimes it can be a little bit hard, especially since I'm doing it, in, or at least trying to do it in front of the camera. So, yeah. All right. All right, and they tab together like so. Now what you want to do is rotate the the mid se section all the way around, and it this part came undone. All right, rotate the mid section all the way around, and it it doesn't really tab into much. There's tabs right there, but it doesn't really tab into anything actually. And there you have him back in his vehicle mode. That and that's Optimus. Now let's move on to Ratchet. Ratchet, here he is in his vehicle mode. You he, he rolls he rolls better than Optimus because you don't have the, m that much of the robot mode taking that away from him. Optimus doesn't move that well just because of the robot mode and that large large truck. So yeah, he. Ratchet rolls pretty good. Um, yeah, he. I, the only problem is with the Ratchet figures is that sometimes the color scheme is a little bit off. Like, you should be instead of this green color, you should be like a more yellow green, not pure green. And plus, he should have the same decals he has, like the red zigzag line he has. But he has E4 and orange. He has a spare tire up here. It's pretty cool. He's used the robot mode display to me down there. And he rolls pretty good. To transform him, what you want to do is you want to unpeg the legs. The legs aren't pegged together, but they are pegged into the top part. And they just there. And this whole midsection flips down. Now you then you untab the the side parts from the t from the top part and move and then you flip the doors out that flips them out then you just flip this whole part down like so and now you just like Optimus you flip the doors 180 degrees and now you ro or rotate the arms and rotate them down then you flip the head out and that pretty much allows you to tab the midsection into place. And here you have Ratchet in his robot mode. And yeah, the head sculpt, there's a close-up. I know you can't see that well, but still, it's still, that's the head. Now, the head, I'm looking at it closely, and it, the head looks a little bit too tall for Ratchet. The head should be shorter for him. It looks actually more like Sentinel Prime than Ratchet. So, yeah, but Oh anyway, yeah, and you only have a you can only peg something into this arm. You can't peg anything into this arm because so you have the claw there, and this arm you don't. And you have the Autobot logo painted there. There, un, also unlike Optimus, you don't have posability in the knee. You have posability in the elbow and in the shoulder and in the waist, but there is no posability in the knee. So. 
So yeah, that that's that's just the way it goes. To transform him back, what you want to do is you want to flip the head down. And that kind of untabs the pelvis for you. Well, not pelvis, but whatever. And then you want to flip this whole part up. And now what you want to do is rotate the doors back. But and you want to you want to rotate this the whole. Actually, you want to rotate the arms forward and rotate this so that the arms are so that the painted part is on pointing to the inside. Then you flip the doors back into place. And now what you want to do is they is ten little tabs right there. And they tab in like so. You kind of wanna make sure the this part those parts go under. So yeah. Then you flip the whole midsection and the like I said the legs don't tab together. But they but the heels tab into the back. And there you have Ratchet back in his vehicle mode. And now we move to the third figure, which is Crankcase, who's the only Decepticon here. Uh, and I just dropped him. Now Crankcase, again, he rolls, he's the, as far as rolling on his wheels, he's the best. Because he, because this, you can obviously see his robot mode there, but you don't, but none of it's hanging down, so... Obviously, this guy, he rolls the best. And Optimus is the worst in regards to rolling, because his robot mode is hanging down there. But this guy's really good for rolling. You have the orange windows right here. Obviously, you can't see through them, because these are Cyberverse figures again. You have his Decepticon logo right there and there. Head lights. And you have the Chevrolet logo right there. It's not painted or anything, but still, you can still see it if you look closely. Obviously, you can't see it because of the bad camera quality, but you can, I can see it. So, yeah. To transform him, what you want to do is you want to... Well, first, you want to move the doors out like so. These are going to become the arms. Second thing you want to do is untab the legs from each other and... They kind of unfold like this. And yeah, the, you do have the chicken legs right here. He does have the chicken legs. There's nothing you can do about that. So, yeah. And now what you want to do is... You want to fold this whole part down. And fold the arms back. And now what you want to do is you kind of want... You want to fold the... You want to fold them, these parts out. So they're angled out like so. And yes, you have the hood behind his head, which, again, just like Optimus, he has Ratchet. I don't really remember, but um, I mean, this guy, he, again, he has this part behind his head, which a lot of Transformers have, especially the smaller sized ones. So yeah, but anyway, here you have, you have him in his robot mode. Now, obviously... This guy is kind of annoying in his robot mode. I, I really like his, his vehicle mode is better than his robot mode, honestly. Because, obviously, the chicken legs kind of bother me. Because, the, he just to let you know, he was one of the guys chasing Sentinel in, the mo in Dark of the Moon. But, he yeah, had the chicken legs. And the only way you can bend the foot is forward. You can't bend it back. The knee, you have posability at the knee, though. And in the hip. The, again, at the elbow, you have no posability. Optimus is the only one that... Well, he doesn't have posability at the elbow, but... Ratchet and Optimus do. But you have posability at the shoulder, again. And so, yeah, here's his head really close up. Again, I know you can't see it well, but he has a bottom jaw, four eyes. And has that beastly look. And now here's his chest region. Looks pretty cool, very Decepticon-like. So yeah, and the wheels still turn so he can like glide on his wheels if he wants to like skate or something. So yeah. And yeah, to transform him back, what you want to do is fold the wheels in like so. Fold the feet in and kind of angle it down and you want to... And they tab together like so. Now what you want to do is fold these in. Fold them in so they, they're straight. 
So I'll rotate this whole part up. And now, you, yeah. All right. Now, you, now you got that up. You kind of want to angle this so that the top part's touching that part. And now the door, you got to rotate into place. Do the same for both sides. And here you have him back in his vehicle mode. And so yeah, that you have I reviewed all three of them except for the trailer. I haven't reviewed the trailer yet. The trailer is by far the hardest to transform. It's even for a cyberverse figure, it's not that easy to for me to transform. But anyway, here is the trailer in its vehicle form. You have the Autobot logo right there. And you have the sticker here. It, the sticker was already on, but it goes down here. It's pretty cool. And you have the wheels. Only the back wheel turns. The front wheels are just molded there. But the back wheels turn. So, yeah. You have the doors. These doors don't open, by the way, unless you're transforming it. And you have this part here. And you have a little clip right there, which you can clip onto Optimus. Just... And yeah, you can ca have Optimus riding along with his trailer. To unclip it, it's not that easy. No, that is if I was in front of a camera, but still. Yeah. Trailer pretty cool. Now, now to transform it, this is the hardest transformation here. Even for a Cyberverse figure. And now, what you want to do is... This whole top part has to come off completely. It comes off completely. Now that's not easy if it's in its vehicle form. You kind of want to angle it off to the side. Be careful not to break anything. All right, and this whole part comes off, and you can and I dropped it, but you can obviously see it's a gun, and I dropped the bullet. It's somewhere around here. All right, all right. So yeah, the bullet it goes. Alright, yeah, we just set that aside for now. Now we continue transforming it. And this whole part, it, this part angles forward. And you kind of want to untab all this part. Untab everything. And this whole part folds 180 degrees this way. Alright. And now what you want to do is you want to get these kind of out of the way. And kind of lift this up because there's a little tab there that's blocking the path so you kind of want to it's kind of on a ball joint so yeah you kind of want to angle it up over this way and now what you want to do is you want to rotate this whole part down around like this and this whole part rotates 180 degrees like this and I'll do the same for the other side like so. Alright. And now... Now this whole part bends forward. So yeah. This whole part bends forward. And this is the trailer in its transform mode. And just to let you know is that this is basically like, you know, the ultimate Optimus Prime. The very large Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime figure that everyone seems to hate. This is basically like the Cyberverse version of that. So yeah, what what you have to do is you have to make sure Optimus is in his robot mode. So let me just transform him. Almost got it. Alright, and here he is in his robot mode again. So yeah, what you want to do is... Mm, you... You still see the clip for his trailer right here. And you have another clip right there. I, Honestly, I don't know if that's the same clip for his trailer or not. I believe it actually is. So yeah, what you want to do is this, you kind of want to clip it in there like so. 
Let me clip it in. Let me clip it myself. Alright, now it's clipped in. So, yeah. And now you have Optimus clipped in. And so, his feet, they fit in here. And they kind of... There's no... They don't really exactly tab in. They're not really secure. But they fit in right there. And you have the... Your, the hands, they clip into these little parts right here. They clip into these level levers right here. Let me try the other hand, alright. Right, and yeah, both of his hands are clipped in now, and this is basically what you have. You have Optimus in his trailer, and remember, this is a gun, and you have a peg hole right he here, and you have a peg right here. This you can peg into either hand; it doesn't matter which. And you have this huge gun, and so yeah, you. So yeah, this is basically what you have. Yeah, basically the ultimate, the Cyberverse version of the ultimate Optimus Prime. And this is basically, I believe, his jetpack in the movie, his trailer transforms into. So, yeah. Yeah, to, to get him out of it, what you want, well, let me review it first. You, obviously you have the gun here, you, the fire, there's a little switch here, and it fires pretty well. And you just push it back in until it clicks. You have the jets right here. I believe these are guns. And again, like I said, the feet don't really clip in, actually. They, they kind of slot in. So basically, you don't really have much to really do about that. So yeah, you... Again, I kind of like Optimus just in his robot mode referred to this so yeah I just wanted to show you that anyway to get him out of it what you want to do is you want to take the gun off first then you want to un unpeg his hands from it take out his feet and now the hardest part is unclipping him from it they just kind of wiggle just kind of wiggle him and move him down and he We'll find the unclip. So yeah, I'll just leave I'll just leave him right there. And now to transform the trailer back. Transform it back, what you want to do is flip these are flip the sides around 180 degrees like so. And now what you want to do is rotate it around this part 180 degrees. You kinda want to it's easier for me to rotate it around the back that way. Flip this part back like so. You want to flip this so this little part is horizontal. And then you flip the, the guns up so it forms the front of the trailer. And now you kind of want to wiggle these until it's symmetrical like this and forms that. Kind of. And then you got to rotate it up and it kind of all and it tabs in like so. Yeah, you do the same for the other side. <gasps> and now you... Now that, that all tabs in, like I said, there is... To ta put this back... This, the gun faces backward, faces toward the end of the trailer, 
And there's, you see this little hinge right here, and this little part right here, that's where it tabs in. And these little parts go right into these openings right here. Now, it, now you can e it actually goes in quite easily, taking it out harder than putting it in. So yeah, here you have the trailer back in its transform mode. And now, I have to rate all these figures. And, yeah, you technically, I don't know if you have three fig you have three figures if you include the trailer as part of Optimus, but, hey. Now, for Optimus, I rate him, I'll rate him an 8 out of 10, I'll pro I probably would have rated him a 9 out of 10 if only he wasn't a Cyberverse figure. Ratchet, I rate a, uh, Ratchet, I'll rate a 7 out of 10 just because Optimus is my favorite character. I'll rate this guy. A 7 out of 10 also. The trailer will also give a 7 out of 10. Just be... The trailer is not real. The trailer actually isn't... It's just... is Optimus is my favorite character here. That's because he's my favorite Transformer. And... Yeah, he... Again... The trailer not... The trailer... The trailer doesn't really transform into anything except Optimus' battle armor. So yeah, nothing too exciting about the trailer. But you do... The real excitement comes from the figures themselves, obviously, but, I mean, it would have been nice if I, if these, if I would have gotten the, uh, one, I would have rather gotten a large, one larger size transformer, or even a deluxe size, at least a deluxe size, one, really would like if I would have at least gotten a deluxe size Optimus from Dark of the Moon or Revenge of the Fallen, rather than, rather than a, three or four if you can't the trailer cyberverse figures so yeah but still hey at least I have an Optimus Prime figure to add to my collection now so yeah now anyway yeah I, anyway, I am signing off now I know this has been a long review just for a few cyberverse figures but still anyway I'm signing off now one more thing I almost forgot I didn't review the instructions yet so I'm just gonna review them really quick These are the instructions for Optimus and his trailer. Open them up. And here you can see Transformers, Dark of the Moon, Autobot, Optimus Prime Level 1, because again, these are Cyberverse figures. This is changing him into a vehicle, vehicle form. This is changing the trailer from battle to trailer mode. And this is changing this you can also change it to a battle base mode if you would like. Which you can do. Um also you can change it you know yeah so you, you can also change and here's how you change it to his battle armor. So yeah, that those are the instructions for Optimus, and the other two are really small. Um, here you have the instructions for Crankcase, um, and obviously you can see the the other the transforming parts are purple because he's a Decepticon, and purple is the color of the Decepticon. Here's how you this shows changing him into a vehicle, it doesn't show vice the vice versa way. Here's Ratchet changing him into a vehicle again, and yeah. Anyways, one more thing before I go, I'm just going to show you a stop motion of each of these guys transforming.